Luna 24 succeeds where the previous Russian missions failed, returning to Earth with a precious sample from the unexplored region. The sample of lunar soil brought back weighs less than seven-tenths of a pound, but has a big impact on the Soviets' understanding of lunar geology. The results of the analysis shock Soviet geologists. It looked like something had happened to the soil in an area of the moon that was supposedly undisturbed for billions of years. What could it have been? Test on the sample confirmed that the soil used to be buried deep underground. Someone or something brought it to the surface. The Soviets know that the Americans haven't been to this part of the moon. They think this is their turf. So they have to face up to the question, who the heck's been disturbing the lunar surface here? Could someone else have landed on the moon before the US and Russia? I have heard that the Germans developed a moon rocket before they were defeated in 1945. We know for a fact from NASA's own records the Germans had a very advanced space exploration program. The Nazis were leaders in the rocketry industry. And they had people like Werner von Braun. German aerospace engineer Werner von Braun is the founding father of rocket science. Werner von Braun was a genius. May have been a Nazi, but he was a genius and was able to design systems that, to this day, are still astounding to us. During World War II, the Nazi regime asked von Braun to develop the V-2 rocket, the first man-made craft to reach space. NASA and their Russian counterparts both know that this Nazi superweapon was a key step in the development of their own moon rockets. We would not have been able to land on the moon if it hadn't been for the Germans. Damn right. The first American rocket was based on V-2 technology. The first Russian rocket was essentially just a V-2. How difficult is it to believe that the Nazis pushed their technology just that little bit further? I really wonder if the, if the Germans could have gotten to the moon. Actually, I think they could have. Nazi technology may have had the potential to reach the moon, but there is no evidence to suggest that a German spacecraft disturbed the dust of the Sea of Crises. 